Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you guys in good health. I am fine as you can see. For those who have been on this platform for a long time now, I have always opined that the next governor for Nairobi was going to be negotiated on a table and that the residents of Nairobi we're not going to have a say on who becomes the next governor for Nairobi. The United Democratic Alliance Party have already settled on Johnson Sakaja. The UDA supporters in Nairobi never had a say on the choice of Johnson Sakaja. In the Azimio Laomoja movement, two individuals were campaigning. Tim Wanyoni of ODM party and Richard Ngatia on Jubilee. And it was expected that either of them was going to carry the flag. But when Polycap Igade resigned from equity some three weeks ago, it was clear that he was joining politics. And of course, you also remember there were issues with uh, Richard Ngatia's CV and his reputation. But one gentleman was actually the front runner. And the gentleman was Tim Wanyonyi. And yesterday, Tim Wanyonyi addressed his supporters. And from his speech, it was clear that the position of Nairobi was going to be negotiated on the national table. And the details are now emerging that Polycap Igade is the gubernatorial candidate and Tim Wanyonyi is going to be his deputy. I want you to listen very briefly to Tim Wanyonyi addressing his supporters yesterday because in this video, I want us to look at why Rail Odinga and President Uhuru Mge Kenyatta have settled on Polycap Igade, particularly as the gubernatorial candidate and Tim Wanyonyi as the running mate. But listening to Tim Wanyonyi very briefly. Kitu mimi nasema nangojea chama cha ODM watoe matangazo watanipa certificate ama wataaji. Kitu ya pili Kitu ya pili ni about Azimio Coalition. Tukona wenzetu katika asimio ambao wana matarajio ingine inaleta kila watu walakae chini ya tuwasungumuze na sisi tumesema ya kwamba tutaajia wakubwa wetu nimeachia baba e ataongea na president uhuru na wengine waamue Na vile vile tumesema sisi tumekuwa kwa kiwanja for 2 years. We've been campaigning for 2 years. Kwa hivyo decision yenye wata make watajua ya kwamba lazima they come up with a winning team. Because wale wenzetu they are just waiting for us to make a mistake. Na wataenda nayo. Sine kweli? They're just waiting for us to make a mistake. Na hiyo mistake moja tu hivi, it will cost us. I'm telling you, it will cost us dearly. No, that's Tim Wanyonyi. You could uh, feel from his statement and the speech, the statement is well guarded, and the speech is very specific, that the position is actually going to be decided by the principles. So in this video today, I want us to look at why President Ruki Nyata and Raila Molodinga have settled on that ticket. Before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you guys to take a second or two, click that, that uh, subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue to thank you guys for your continued support. It's amazing. 
This channel would not be where it is today were it not for your support. So for this particular video, I just want to ask you guys to click for me that thumbs up button. And for those who can, please drop your comment because I want to really understand your thoughts. And let me ask you a question. Do you think Tim Wanyonyi would have won the Nairobi gubernatorial seat? For me, I think Tim Wanyonyi would have been the best, but Uhuru and Raila understand better why they have settled on that particular team. Now, let us get back to serious business. And before we get into serious business, I want to introduce to you guys the global platform where you can sell products and buy products. Isorite.com. Please don't forget also to visit their website. Uh, you can see the, the website is uh, on the screen there. Alternative, you can click on the link below. You'll find the the the, the link to the website on uh, the description below. Now, why do you think President Ruki Nyata has settled on the ticket of Tim Wanyunyi and Poli Kapigabe? First of all, before we get, into, we get into that, let us understand the factors which determine the politics of Nairobi, how you can become the governor of Nairobi. The first thing you need is the tribal arithmetics. In Nairobi, Nairobi is the capital city of this country. So there's the tribal arithmetics because one tribe cannot win Nairobi. Kikuyus are the majority, but they always need a, a tribe to tilt the equation. In the last election, the Kikuyu managed to win Nairobi through Sonko. So they needed the Kamba. So the Kikuyus voted for Sonko, and then the Kambas voted for Sonko, and then they tilted the equation in favor of Mike Sonko. So you need the treble arithmetics. Polika Pigade is a Kikuyu. Tim Wanyonyi is a Luya. So if you combine those two and you add the Luo and the Azimio, that's a Assuming the, 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 the lawyers will vote for that ticket, that's a direct win. The second thing you must look at is normally the party of the coalition. For example, in Nairobi, you must look at the ODM as a political party if you have that ticket or Jubilee. But we can say that Jubilee has not been replaced with the UDA. So if you have a UDA ticket, then you have some advantage. If you have ODM ticket, then you have an advantage. But this election, we are going to have a coalition. So we have UDA coalition, which comprises of uh, Ruto, who is a Kalenjin, and uh, the two lawyer brothers, that is Musalem Davadi and Wetangula. So, and they've identified uh, Johnson Sakaja in the hope that Sakaja will get the lawyer votes and the Kikuyu votes, and that will be enough to propel him. So you must identify a party. The third thing you must do is to, try to, to get the support of... Uh, the deep state in Nairobi, where the deep state means those who matter, whether in business or in the part of the system, Kidero was able to win because it was acceptable. In fact, Kidero won, won in 2013 because there were Kikuyus who were comfortable with him, that done business with him, was their business associate, so they didn't have problems with him. In 2013, Sonko won because also he enjoyed the support of the deep state. So you must also have that. And lastly, you must go to the slums and compete for the support of the, the, the slums. Mike Sonko had the support of the slums and that also helped in tilting the support in his favor. I'm looking at Sakaja and uh, looking at uh, Polika Pigade. The two appear to be elitist, although Sakaja might easily get into the, the slums. And uh, Poli Kapigade is an elitist, so he might have a problem there. But Kidero, who was also an elite, was able to get into the slums. Why? Because of the support of the ODM as a political party and Raila, whose support base is actually normally in the slums. So those four factors determine whether you become the governor, whether you become the governor of Nairobi or not. But why do you think President Ruki Kenyatta and Raila Mwen Lodinga decided to settle on this ticket? I want to be very brief. The first reason why they, they decided that is that it's part of Azimio La Moja negotiations. Or let me put it, Jubilee ODM negotiations. Jubilee is demanding that they must have Nairobi. And it makes sense. There is no way you can expect in this country 
that you are not going to have a Kikuyu president and then you don't have a Kikuyu governor in Nairobi. It can't happen. And that's why Ruto should be worried. Ruto cannot be a presidential candidate and have a lawyer governor in Nairobi unless he's going to have a Kikuyu running it. <clears throat> For Azimio, I don't know their game plan, but I'm looking at a situation where after giving Akikuyu now the Nairobi, then they can go for Kalonzo Musyoka as a camper. So that it will complete the equation. Because again, if you have a, 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 a low presidential candidate, then you have Akikuyu running mate, then you come to Nairobi and you give the Kikuyu's uh, the gubernatorial seat, then why is the camper equation? Looking at that, I tend to think that is part of the, the negotiations within the Azimio La Omoja movement. Number two, I think Uhuru and Raila are also keen on the Kikuyu voting bloc in Nairobi. Remember, the position of the deputy president was rendered useless. It's something you can't flash to a community based on the way Uhuru handled Ruto. Ruto became just like uh, a deputy president without portfolio. Could not do anything. So I tend to think that the Kikuyu nation are going to be told that having a, a running mate as a, as a having a, a deputy president is not important. The most important is having the governor for Nairobi for several reasons. Number one of them is that the Kikuyus are the majority businessmen and women in Nairobi, so they needed one of their own. Number two, Nairobi is the capital city of the republic. The, the amount of money it controls is almost equivalent that of a president so they will be convinced like that so i think it's about targeting the kikuyu voting block so and because the kikuyu voting block is going to be key in determining who becomes the next president huru kenyatta in my view is very strategic remember he's heading the azimio la omoja so basically azimio is like huru kenyatta is the head now with the with the with the governor of nairobi they'll be able to achieve more number three i also think that it's intended to sort out this running mate equation. If there's a headache which President Ruki Nyata and Raila Odinga have been facing, is the running mate equation. Who will they appoint as running mate? There has been the talk of a Kikuyu running mate and the name of Martha Kaura is coming out very strongly. And then Kalozo Musyoka is also coming up. So who will deliver the votes? So if you have a Kikuyu as a governor of Nairobi, then it means they can forfeit the running mate for Kalonzo. So I'm just trying to look at it like that. Alternatively, if you have a Kikuyu as a running mate to Raila Odinga, and then you also give Kikuyus the running mate, basically what you are telling the Kikuyus is that they have high stakes in Uhuru Raila government than <laughs> in UDA. You know, the, the position of a, a running mate, whether the deputy governor or the president, is so critical to an extent that if the president or the governor is not able to perform their functions, the person who takes over is the deputy president or the, 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 the running mates. So in, in case of a presidential candidate, if they give Raila a, 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 a running mate, then they just hope that <laughs> nothing bad happens. But it's about the running mate equation. Number four, I also tend to think that after the Sonko issue and Ferdinand Waititu performance in Kiambu, President Ru Kenyatta is keen on having a credible candidate for the position of the governor of Nairobi. The president is keen on Nairobi for several reasons. He even came up with the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, which changed the face of Nairobi. He believes that that change can still happen, but it can't happen with people of questionable character. If, say, for example, Jubilee is insisting that the, run, the, the governor must be, must be from uh, Jubilee, the governor must be from Jubilee, and the only candidate is uh, Richard Ngatia. Richard Ngatia and the COVID would be a baggage they would not want to carry. So bringing in someone like Igade brings in that credibility. Remember in 2017, Igade was William Uwe was Mike Sonko's running mate. Why was he brought on board? He was brought on board for several reasons. 
one of them was that he was going to manage the policy aspect of the, of um, he was going to manage the policy aspect of Nairobi then he was also to de going to deal with as administrative functions within the office of the governor and also the, the management but Sonko could not allow him to do that so basically they want to bring credibility to the campaigns and lastly I also tend to think that Uhuru is keen on bringing someone who is reliable someone they can depend on Sonko they couldn't depend on Uhuru Kenyatta as much as Tim Wanyonyi is a gentleman I don't think he would be comfortable with the Tim Wanyonyi Richard Ngatia based on his back, uh, background I think he felt that maybe the guy might uh, might not really heed to whatever he's telling them so the best bet for him is is uh, Poli Kapigade. So you pair Poli Kapigade and Tim Anyonyi, they win the ticket. You have Tim Anyonyi performing the functions and uh, maybe the administrative things, whatever they wanted him to do. And then Poli Kapigade, they will be running their affairs in, in City Hall. I don't know what you think, but that's my take.